little sugar boogers, welcome back to the channel for yet another episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 Jungle Adventure. Alright you guys, so it is currently the next day and I had Riley spend all night long just working on some paintings so that she could earn some simoleons for her next trip. Right now she is currently uncovering the artifact shape dirt clump, which I thought we had already uncovered once before, but I do believe this is a brand new artifact. So if you guys don't know, I have been away on business for the last like five days or so, so I haven't really able, been able to check your comments and see how you're liking the LP so far, and a lot of you, to my surprise, are literally obsessed with Riley and her story and have been asking me to make this a permanent Let's Play on my channel because you really do feel like you can relate to her and get attached to her in a similar way as you have with Miss June Thurston, but now June Foreman. So we'll have to see how it goes. I really do love this Let's Play because it's just different and Riley's super relatable and funny and quirky, and she's just extremely unique. Like, who the hell lives in a caravan and pulls it off? Only Riley does, you know what I mean? Now, something I've been thinking about lately is getting Riley a four-legged companion. And for some reason, I'm gonna need your help, but for some reason, I've been thinking, a chocolate lab. I don't know what it is. A chocolate lab just seems to make a lot of sense. So um, it says this is an unauthenticated Amiskin mask. So we're gonna have Riley go ahead and authenticate it. Now in the last episode, we ended up getting one of these golden, golden masks of Cass. <laughs> Cass, I don't know. The quality is poor, but it is a rare artifact and it is currently worth $316. It's just not worth selling, I think. Um, anyways, and then we also ended up getting a excellent quality rare vase that's worth 933 simoleons. So right now, it was okay, right now we're going to keep all these artifacts, but I was literally dying because I said that in the last episode, right? And someone was like, oh, I said the same thing, honey, until I came across an artifact worth 10,000 simoleons. Oh, I'm like, oh, for 10k? I'll sell my soul. Like, I, oh my god. Oh, um, I'm pretty positive this is something you get from like the swap meet or something. Riley's expert knowledge of the Amiskin culture and the technology techniques of its master's craftsmen have helped her determine this is a fake. Oh, it is subtle. Only a trained eye could spot the difference. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm no genius or anything, but can you, can, can, can you spot the difference? Oh my God, I'm dying. Okay. We also went ahead and planted our avocado tree. And then we ended up planting all of these beautiful little, um, what is it, tree of emotion. So we should be getting some harvest harvestables here very soon. Uh, I'm just going to have kind of Riley go through, do a little gardening, kind of work on her needs a little bit. Uh, and then I think we're going to plan our next big adventure. She's just been itching. It's been like a few days, maybe a week since she's been home. And to be honest with you guys, she just wants to get back out there. She wants to see what she's missed and uncovered, um, you know, and, and I, what did I just say? What she's missed and uncovered? No, what she has missed and left uncovered. <laughs> uh, we also ended up getting um, today's bills, which are 500 simoleons. So the responsible thing to do would be to pay your bills. But the irresponsible thing to do is go on a trip in a brand new villa a little more expensive this time, and worry about the bills when we come back. We're gonna sell the fake relic because we don't have any interest in that. There is another relic that we have yet to authenticate, I think. Hold on, I'm having an issue putting it. Nope, maybe we have authenticated this already. Uh, no, let's have Riley go over here really quick and do that. Hopefully you guys don't mind. Maybe we have something that's worth a little bit, but also not really, and if my voice is extremely hoarse, <laughs> I've been talking all week long and that also should come to like literally no surprise because I talk a lot. So I might sound like, you know, a prepubescent little schoolboy, but that's cool. Um, okay, so this is an authentic relic and this one is worth $933, which is great, right? Because we already have one of those. So I'm just going to sell it, have Riles come over here, use the bathroom a little bit, cook herself a little lunch. Um, ooh, let's get leftovers. I don't know exactly what we ended up cooking that we would have leftovers for but we'll have to see I just want to make sure that we have all of our gear on us ready to go and if there's anything here that we could take that would really help us in the jungle I have our spider repellents which I'm gonna need I have our acoustic guitar we have our 
camper tent. We also do need to plant um, some black beans. And then we have some spoiled curry, which I had every intention of having Riley put it away. But like me, she totally forgot to put the leftovers in the fridge. Have you guys done that before? It is seriously the most annoying thing ever. So um, touching base really quick on um, Pablo and that relationship. It was really interesting to see your guys' thoughts and opinions on that. A lot of you guys said that you think, you know, they tried the romantic thing. It just really wasn't working out for them. Let it be dead in the dust. I don't know. I don't know if I'm convinced, you know? I mean, I kind of feel like there's something there and they may revisit it later. But there's, I, I don't know if I told you, but Sai has a little girl. And I know we don't need to necessarily play this let's play with, you know, a relationship as an end game, but it is something that I think about in the back of my head and I often wonder like what could be and like what are the prospects like as she goes through her life, you know, like what could have been um, and I feel like Pablo it could be. I don't know. I love your guys' thoughts and opinions and even if we don't agree, it's totally cool, um, but I don't know. I thought it was just interesting that you guys didn't see it. And I'm like all head over heels for Pablo. I'm like, oh my God, hell yeah. Like <laughs> Pablo, give papi, like, you know, pixel thirst, whatever um, that I say. But it was just weird. It was weird. It was interesting weird. So anyway, we'll leave that in the dust. We're going to um, back to Salvadorada and we are going to go to a different place this time. So last time we stood at the Hill View Hideaway, which was actually a really nice location. I was pleasantly surprised. However, there are a couple others that are a little more um, expensive. We have the Selva Dorada Villa for 618 with balancing breezes as the lot trait. And then we also have the Jungle Bungalow, which I feel like is more of like a romantic thing. I would like to stay relatively close in the city square because we're not that comfortable with traveling um traveling yet and i'm gonna have her do uh two days three days let's just do two days right now just because that's all the money that i currently have and um we'll see where where we go from there so we're going back because I don't know. There's, she just wants to. She she wants to travel. And now that her painting is starting to pay off, um, this just feels like second nature to her. Like this does feel a little bit like home. So here we are in this villa. I cannot believe we're back already. Um, welcome to the jungle. Riley has had some handy adventure items put in, added to her inventory. Okay, so I don't know if we get more. Uh, or the same ones. Okay, so it looks like we got some doubles. So we have two machetes now. And if I sell it, it's only 121. We lost our machete last time. And then I ended up uh, finding one conveniently in... Oh, hold on a second. I can actually steal this artifact. Oh, I'm going to do it. <laughs> um, I just thought it was a part of the package. Uh, we ended up finding it in like a, a treasure chest, right? And I thought, I thought they lied to me, but they didn't. And look, we have an archaeology table here and everything. This is going to be perfect. Let's go and light up the fire. We're going to text Sai. Don't get you, don't get your titties twisted. Nothing's going to happen here. But we are going to send him a text just to let him know that we are, we are in town you know we could even invite him to come on to our vacation if we wanted to but um like like you guys said you just want to see Riley do these adventures um on her own for right now so I think that's a great idea now there's a beautiful little hutch over here love the table is there anything fun to do outside um Oh my god, this is like for multiple sims and a toddler. You could literally bring your little one here. I think Riley would be an amazing mom. I really do. See, I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, so she wants to waste no time. She wants to chat about the um, Sal Salvadorian culture. And I think what we're going to do is do a Sal Salvadorian uh, introduction. And I was like talking to other people at, I guess it was kind of like Sims Camp, about how like they mispronounce things. And I'm so happy. It literally makes me feel amazing to know that I am not the only one who can't pronounce jack diddly squat like I just can't um it was really refreshing so like there was it was just interesting because people were mispronouncing like escapade and um artifact it was just <laughs> you know you know that feeling when you know you're like a flop but you're not alone you know there's just a group of flops that was that 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 was me <laughs> it was awesome all right so now that we're here I think I don't want to waste any time getting um extra supplies right so I do have a little extra playroom and I do have all of the basic necessities, I think. But the food thing, the food thing is the biggest thing. And I don't have any um, 
to eat. So I do have like a couple beans and some other cool things. I'm just wondering if I could maybe, maybe come over here and grab um, something from the vendor. That way I could just put it in my inventory and we can like kind of munch on it later. I want to get back to the temple as soon as possible because I feel like there was just a lot that we had missed. Okay, so we're going to go start off at the, tr the trailhead. It kind of um, sucks because you would think that by now Riley would be able to start a little more up the trail. But that's not the case, right? Like, because we, I don't think we've gotten far enough. And I don't even know if that's an option yet, to be honest. I really haven't played that much. I've been missing this LP deeply. So I'm hoping we'll get through the jungle um, pretty quickly and we'll start uncovering some brand new things. I do want to kind of change up her outfit as well. I don't know if I want this one all the time for, like, every adventure. But I kind of feel like it just comes with the territory. Is she hungry at all? No, she is ready. She's ready to go. So we are going to come over here and clear the path with the machete. I do believe we ended up going a different way the other time um I don't know if I need to clear a path still but we'll have to see um I'm gonna keep an eye out because things change every single time you come here and I just wanted to reiterate that uh, a couple episodes ago I thought that this was like loopholes not loopholes rabbit holes <laughs> but they're not they're not actually rabbit holes they're I, the questions are but um the you you end up going to a different part of the world, if that makes sense, after you answer them. There are rustles as Riley makes her way through the jungle, and as she looks up to see a whole troop of sloths staring back, the sloths eye Riley warily. Should she find a different way around or walk among the sloths? Um, I think you guys were going to walk with the sloths. Uh oh, sloth encounter. <laughs> Riley feels confident that the sloths won't see her as a threat. She strolls right into the troop, and the sloths are quite curious about Riley and follow along sign as alongside her swinging through the trees oh during the sloth walk riley noticed a relic on the ground score i could see her saying that too like yes i am oh uh, okay what 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 oh are these bats <gasps> oh my goodness that's scary but you know it worked out for once it actually worked out so what did we discover sloth walk that's our brand new little moodlet here and i see some i see some shiny things so we're gonna go harvest some avocados and i guess the plantain tree is not a new a new find bummer but but the avocados are <laughs> so i know i know Jen. Oh, poor Jen. Jennifer. Sad little Jennifer. All right. Somebody told me that there is a plane crash. And by the plane crash, there are more um, more uh, things that you can discover. Now, I'm not quite able to look at this path yet. So it says the, this path is sealed and cannot be opened Oh, on this trip. Perhaps the next vacation. Can I, like, steal... No. Okay. <laughs> that's that's never a good beginning to anything. Can I steal? All right. So we're going to go back over the bridge and we should find this temple uh, rather soon. Here's another little path that we can actually clear with our machete. Now, I do believe this is the, the path that leads to the temple. And last time it was open. So I'm a little I'm a little curious as to why it's shut considering I had opened this already, but I'm not sure. So I think this will take us right to the temple. Not a big deal. And then we will finally be able to start kind of uncovering some things that we haven't before. So, all right. Um, okay, well, we ended up losing our machete, sadly. <laughs> but we were able to... Um, hold on a second. Okay, did I get attacked? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Again? Seriously, Riley? I'm not trying not to scream. Please don't die. Please don't die. Honey, just run. Just run. It's cool. Like, do what, do what I do. Just stop, drop, and roll, and scream. And you'll be good. Why is she feeling flirty? Oh, the waterfalls. Okay. <laughs> All right, so good thing we had that extra machete because otherwise I would be really concerned. Okay, what is going on here? This looks different. This looks super different, you guys. And oh my God, look at the valley. Okay, so maybe we aren't going to the temple again, but we are going to another part of the world. Okay, well, I guess we're going off the trail. <sighs> <clears throat> I feel like I talk so damn much. Like, my voice hurts. <laughs> I, I, It's probably a little too soon to be recording, but, like, your girl just... Woo! I posted, like, what, eight videos in a day? Okay, so here she goes. Um, another, another, another encounter with these little cabanera thingies. I don't know what it's called. Uh, we... Okay. All right, so we're just gonna... We're just gonna pass this, you know? Um, and we ended up getting, oh, okay, Riley has, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We just ended up discovering a brand <gasps> new place. Oh my God, and what is that relic that we ended up discovering? Oh my goodness. 
uh, we ended up discovering a Chaos Relic base. And I do believe we have a um, zoo. Okay, we can, wait, okay, we have this Zoo Zalatululu Relic. And we can probably fuse it with this base. <gasps> And just it ended up creating a unique type of relic. We'll do that when we get back to the villa tonight. If we get back to the villa, we actually may even, um, we might end up having Riles stay out here tonight because it's already 9 o'clock. So she's going to go check out this treasure chest here. And I hope that you guys don't mind that I skipped over that little interaction because we, I've already read it before and it's, you know what I mean? It's like the same thing. It's just kind of redundant. So I'm going to have her go and open up this chest. Look at how hard she's trying you guys <laughs> look at her i love her she's like the modern day indiana jones <gasps> go riles you can do it oh my god what a beautiful photo okay riley found some wondrous items in the treasure chest she also gained some simoleons and put some adventure gear in her inventory and as riley would say Score! all right well let's go and see what those are um, we ended up getting a liquid rush which will give us some much needed energy uh and that's it is that really it? <laughs> we only got one thing. It made me sound like, or made it sound like we were going to have like, you know what I mean? Some really good things. But we did find some simoleons, so that's pretty cool. That's exciting. Awesome. Okay, well, let's go trek a little further. Here is a pile we can excavate. And what is this over here? Oh, my God. <gasps> An alligator. What the hell? Wait, what is, seriously? <laughs> that thing looks so sad. <laughs> it looks like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this alligator. He, I, he can't be trusted, y'all. And look at this boat. Um, do you ever see things like this and wonder what the hell happened? Like, I wish we could get in this boat and just start, you know, just start kind of like floating around the lagoon. I think that's what it's called, the lagoon. All right, so let's see what she ends up finding here. It is getting really, really, really late, and she is becoming extremely tired. But the fun thing about this is that we have that liquid rush, so we don't really have to worry too much. And it looks like she has reached archaeology level number four. Riley has developed a keen eye for spotting sites of our archaeology, archaeological importance. She can now survey for dick piles in the jungle. Ooh. And then I think I want to say she ended up leveling up her jungle explorer aspiration so she is now a regional master do you see how quickly she's leveling up she's already halfway through yeah that wouldn't make any damn sense to to end this lp at at the aspiration like once we complete it so um we found an un unauthenticated knife and look at how beautiful the moonlight is it just reflects off the trees <gasps> It is so freaking gorgeous in this world. It kind of is just unreal. All right, so let's go travel back through the portal. I do believe the portal or the vines or whatever. I do believe we kind of um, discovered everything in this little area. Now, I could be wrong, but I do want to see if maybe we can get Riles back to that temple. So here's another place that we need to go and discover. So we're going to clear this with the machete. And I hope, you guys, we end up finding something. So we're here for two nights. So we should definitely run into some luck here soon, getting back to the temple. But maybe I missed out on that. And maybe we're going to another part of the world that I have yet to explore. So, okay. Let's see what happens next. While trekking through the jungle, Riley stumbles upon a jaguar that seems to be stalking something at the edge of the lake. Should she sneak away or observe the jaguar's actions? Honestly, you guys, she would sneak away. She is not, she is not down to confront or watch a jaguar. So we are going to have her try to slip away. All right. The hunting jaguar makes Riley nervous, so she decides to seek away quietly. She is occupied with keeping an eye on the jaguar's movements, but she fails to notice that she walks <gasps> right into a cave. A bunch of bats swarm Riley, and it startles her. Travel to the temple. Okay. I wonder if this is the same temple, or we're going to a different temple. That's scary. So there's jaguars out here. Snakes, alligators. Oh my god. All right. So here we are at the temple, and I do believe this is the exact same temple um, that we had we had come across last time, which is really cool. So what I'm going to have her do is I'm going to have her spend the night here, you guys. We're going to start kind of leveling up a little bit um, and just kind of settling in for the night. And there are some things here that we can actually uh, – well, I mean, not really, but there are a couple things that we can make use of, like the bar – 
Uh, we could probably have like a drink or something, kind of calm our nerves. There's also a bunch of dig piles and she really does need to use the bathroom. So before I have her go and do that, let's just have her go in here and fertilize the bush. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but she wants to woohoo in a bush. And I don't know what it is about her because she doesn't seem like that kind of girl, you know? Like <laughs> that would just, you know, freely woohoo in bushes. But I mean, why not? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think she's ever done anything before. I think she's still very... I don't know, like naive in that way, if that makes sense. I don't know. All right, so let's have her go ahead and dig up this little cluster here. And she is feeling really tired, so I want to kind of push through the night as much as I can um, make her. So we're going to have her drink a little bit of her, I almost said wicked rush, liquid rush. And just by judging the look on her face, I don't think, I'm sorry, honey. She doesn't seem to really like the artificials. You get what I'm saying? But uh, I think it helped. It made her happy. And did it work or no? Um, it gave her a very small little boost. But we do have a couple satisfaction points. So maybe I will buy something with these. Like I'll do the sleep replacement. No, I'm not going to. I think part of the fun is to sleep in a tent. Like why else would you buy one then? But um, let's just see how much we can find. So I'm going to have her kind of dig through these piles. She's going to excavate a little bit. And then I think we're going to come over here and activate this um, this. What is this guy? Uh, like a temple master? <laughs> I don't know. Don't judge. Look at her examining this thing. I love her so much. She's so inquisitive. Could you imagine her children? <gasps> and I really, oh my God. I hate to like be so family oriented, but like I always love that part of the, the Sims. Like what is your favorite part of the Sims? Mine is starting a family, being in relationships. Like that's just my jam. And her parents aren't going to be young forever. <laughs> Riley figured out that some of these triggers won't work to unlock the gate, but that doesn't rule them all out. Right? Riley could try her luck by activating a trigger or keep examining the other mechanisms. So, uh, it's going to be one of these. We're going to contemplate carvings because I feel like this might actually... <gasps> Yay! Oh my god, Riley, you're so freaking smart. Riley has bypassed the temple's defenses and the gate has opened. <laughs> Open sesame. Riley can now venture further into the temple to find out what, war re what rewards await. So, alright, let's come down here. And, ooh, there's like a really narrow, oh my god, this isn't terrifying or anything. What the hell is this? <gasps> okay, I'm going to have her come over here and examine this lever. She's feeling really sleepy. That stupid liquid rush did not help at all. But it's okay. We'll have her sleep. It's not a big deal. Um, granted, I don't think I would really want to sleep right here because, like, look at this. They're all looking at you. This is terrifying. Oh my god, we have to activate these as well. This one can't be trusted. Look at him. He looks like he could easily just like start moving at any moment. But I love how, you know, oblivious she's being right now. I'm hoping that the food that we had got from the market is still good. But okay. Oh, it's spoiled. No, she wasn't hungry at the time. All right. Well, we do have some avocados we can munch on. We also have um, some berries. Onion, spinach, I'm pretty sure she can make a meal out of these things, but we're probably going to wrap up here in a couple minutes anyway. I just want to see if there's anything else that we can unlock because that would be amazing. We're definitely going to explore in the next few episodes the temple to the fullest extent, so I'm prepared to do whatever it takes to stay. So it says, well, dread. None of these triggers will unlock the gate. Got to examine another mechanism. Okay, so this is just not going to, it's not going to do anything for her. What does she want to go do? She wants to go pass out. You have a tent, baby girl. All right, well, let's find a place where we we can have Riley um, kind of nap freely. I think up here is a kind of a safe little area. So I'm going to have her go and get her tent out. Can we do this? Are you serious? Place in world. I don't know where she's going to be able to put the tent. Oh, I guess right here. Oh, okay. So that's kind of scary. I don't like that at all. I'm going to put this in my inventory. I am not sleeping in this dungeon. There's no way. There's no way. Have her go up here and do it because I'm not. No. Mm -mm. So sorry. Not me. <laughs> not today. All right. Let's try it over here. Uh, place into world. There we go. I think our little tent is going to spawn right here. And this is perfect because it's well lit. And I feel like we're safe here. I don't feel like I'm going to get any unknown visitors. So anyways, guys, this is the end of part number five, I believe. I hope you guys are enjoying this Let's Play so far. My voice is just weird and strange. I haven't filmed in like five days, y'all. So I'm still 
you know, taking a moment to get used to it. But uh, I had a lot of fun and I can't wait to see what happens in the next episode of Jungle Adventure. So with that said, don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.